Welcome back everyone. This is the third video in a series where we're looking at activity ratios. In this video, we will be looking at accounts payable turnover and days payables outstanding. So in video one, we looked at inventory turnover, days and in inventory. In video two, we looked at receivables turnover and days sales outstanding. So now we're going to look at our next set. So in order to calculate an accounts payable turnover, we need the cost of goods sold or cost of revenue. Now we already used that already in our inventory turnover calculation, so we don't necessarily have to look that up again. But the average accounts payable is going to be on the balance sheet. And we're looking at Amazon, stock symbol A-M-Z-N. So if you go to finance.yahoo.com and look up that stock symbol, you will find on the balance sheet that the accounts payable balances are, for 2015, we're using an average AP. So for 2015, the accounts payable actual balance was 3078-1000. And in 2014, it was 26266-000. So we take those two numbers, divide by two, and we get an average accounts payable balance over those two years of 28, 523, 500. We do a very similar calculation for 2014, where we take the 2014 AP balance and the 2013, add those two together, and divide by two. So our AP turnover for 2015 is that cost of goods sold number divided by the average AP. And we get an AP turnover of 2.5 times a year. So we're paying out that total payables balance two and a half times a year. In 2014, it was 2.6. Now what we want to do is look at the day's payables outstanding and turn that 2.6 times a year or 2.5 times a year to a days, a number of days. So we take 365 days in a year and we divide by the AP turnover rate that we just calculated. So 365 divided by 2.5 is 145 days. And for 2014, it's 140 days. So we're actually paying out that entire AP balance over uh, about 145, 140 to 145 days. That's a pretty long time. So again, in order to get a sense of how well this number looks compared to competitors, you would actually have to calculate these ratios on their competitors in the industry. And the other way that we're going to do this is the next video we're going to talk about the cash conversion cycle. And we're going to look at that for Amazon and examine what that means. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video.